Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching HTML tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about HTML, the language used to create web pages. So let's get started. HTML or hypertext markup language is a markup language and not a programming language like C, C++ or Java. So HTML consists of tags and elements. We use HTML tags to mark up the content of our website. So when the browser makes a request to the server, the server sends back some HTML, which is then rendered by the browser on our screen. Now in order to learn HTML, we'll need few softwares. So the first thing we'll need is a text editor or an IDE. This is where we'll write the HTML. So for the text editor, you can use Sublime Text, Notepad++, Atom, Brackets, TextMet, etc. And in this tutorial series, I'll be using Brackets. So if you're interested, you can download Brackets. It's an open source software and free. I'll give the link of all the important softwares in the description so please check that out now if you are interested in using an IDE or integrated development environment then you can go for NetBeans or Eclipse both are free and finally we'll need a web browser so you can use Safari Firefox Chrome Internet Explorer or Edge now I will be using Chrome in this tutorial series. So I have Chrome installed and I also have brackets installed. And in case you want to start writing HTML code without installing anything on your machine, you can use this HTML editor, which is there on my website, dyclassroom.com. I will give the link in the description. So you can easily go ahead and write any HTML code. And hit this run button and you will get the output. Alright then, it's time for us to write some HTML. Now create a new project folder on your desktop. And name it HTML project. Now open brackets and open this HTML project folder in brackets. And we'll go ahead and create a new file and we'll name it index.html. Every HTML file ends with a .html extension. Now in this tutorial video, we are going to display the famous hello world text in a web browser. So the first thing that we need to write inside this index.html file is the doc type. So we'll write doc type HTML. Now this will tell the browser that the document type of this file is HTML. It is mostly used in HTML5. Next, we are going to write the HTML tag. So we have this opening HTML tag and we have this closing HTML tag. Closing tags mostly have this forward slash followed by the tag name now it is important that we write our entire html code inside the opening and closing html tag so we cannot write anything after the closing html tag similarly we cannot write anything before the opening html tag now inside the html tag we are going to write the head tag. 
so we have this opening head tag and closing head tag the closing tag has this forward slash now the head tag is like a header and anything we write inside this tag is not displayed on our browser but it contains some information like the title of the page or the name of the author description and so on so in this case inside the head tag we are going to create a title tag so we have this opening title tag and closing title tag and we will give this index.html a title index now after the closing head tag will create the body tag so we have the opening body tag and the closing body tag and anything inside the body tag is displayed on our screen in the browser so if we click on this live preview which is a feature of brackets and let me go ahead and resize this browser so you can see this index.html file has this title index and at the moment this page is empty so now we are going to display hello world so let me go ahead and create a header tag h1 and inside this opening h1 tag and closing h1 tag let us go ahead and write hello world so you can see we have this output hello world all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial we'll talk more about different types of tags and html elements in the later videos and the notes of this tutorial series is there on my website dyclassroom.com the link is in the description so please check that out and the code that we are going to write in this tutorial series i'll put them in my github repository the link will be in the description so please check that out and if you find this video interesting and helpful then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel because i make new videos every week all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye